Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Marley's Metaphysical Perspective. Um, it's been a while since I did a video, so I decided to take out some time today to do a video to talk about the astrological sign of Aquarius. Um, I believe this might be the last day, or tomorrow is the last day of the Aquarius season, and then we go into um, Pisces, which is the last sign of the Zodiac. So we've been kind of socializing and, um, you know, taking time out to um, build friendships and talk with friends and do group activities and things of this nature. But now um, we're going to move into the energy of Pisces. So while it was still Aquarius season, I decided I wanted to do an Aquarius video. So um, for those who don't know, Aquarius is a air sign. Um, it's a fixed air sign that goes from the date January 20th to February the 18th. A lot of people tend to think that Aquarius is a water sign because of the symbol that is represented by it, which is the um, water bearer. And, um, okay, I'll go into detail in a little bit, but um, the planet that rules it is Uranus. The phrase that rules Aquarius is I know, because if any one of us knows an Aquarius, even though they're somewhat introverts, they are very highly knowledgeable and highly receptive to any information. Um, the colors that um, rule that sign are light blue and silver. Um, the day is Saturday because the ruler of Aquarius used to actually be Saturn before um, before Uranus was discovered. So now the ruling planet is Uranus, but um, the ruling day is still Saturday. Okay, so the water bear um, represents, um, uh, the symbol is represented by like a woman or a man, it doesn't matter, um, holding a pitcher of water and pouring it into a river that's already existed existing. So um, basically the water bearer like nurtures the earth with life giving energies. So like, so that's just to say like nurtures earth with life giving energies. So the Aquarius represents the vessel that holds the information and gives the information, not necessarily like, you know, just putting more water into it. It's just like kind of like bringing more to whatever already exists. And we are in the age of Aquarius, which is why we're getting a lot of information during this time period. And, um, you know, it's just flowing and flowing and flowing. So it's a fixed sign. It's air sign ruled by Aquarius from February 20th to the 18th. Um, some strengths of Aquarius are progressive. Um, they are original, independent. They're humanitarians. Uh, their weaknesses, um, Run, they run from emotional expression, they're temperamental, they're uncompromising, and somewhat when it comes to emotions, they tend to be a bit aloof. Um, they like to um, yeah, they like to have fun with friends. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm a little drifty today, but they like to have fun with friends. They like helping others, fighting for causes, intellectual um, conversations, and they're really good listeners. They do not like limitations. They do not like broken promises. They don't like being lonely. They don't like dull moments, um, which is funny because I know a few Aquarius people and they will even be around a lot of people that will really like them, but they don't necessarily really like just to kind of keep shit going and like kind of be like a puppet master. I mean, they can be like that at times. Like there's kind of two different Aquariuses that you'll see. You'll see some really shy and quiet ones, which is how every Aquarius will, will most likely appear to be unless they're with a group of friends when you meet them. But for the most part, they tend to be shy and quiet and reserved. And then when you get to know them, they're like exuberant and eccentric. And then there's just like this plethora of information that they know that it's like, how did you know that? Like, I'm surprised I don't have any Aquarius in my chart, which I don't, but I'm like that girl who just like knows a bunch of like random facts that nobody really cares about. So yeah, I love that about Aquariuses. Um, I actually dated an Aquarius for on and off for like two years. And every time we broke up with each other's boyfriend and girlfriend, we got with each other. So we weren't necessarily like in a relationship, but we were very close friends and we had a lot of sex and <laughs> in those like 
bed moments. Like, it, we would, he would always be, like, telling me about, like, these fucking animals and, like, crazy stuff that I'm, like, not telling me about them, but it was just what he was interested in. So when I was around him, like, that's what I noticed. Like, he lived a very, like, um, kind of, like, hmm, let's say underground, like, lifestyle. So... Um, he loved to watch the animal channel because he related the animal behavior to the human behavior that he's seen everywhere he was at. So that was pretty interesting, like, learning about, like, knowing his lifestyle and knowing, like, what? You're a fucking expert at animals? Like, what is this? Like, who are you? Like, I don't even know who you are, but... Anyways, this is a long time ago, but... Um, people tend to get them confused with water signs because they are a symbol represented by a woman pouring a, um, excuse me, let me grab this pen. They're represented by a symbol of a woman pouring the vessel of water into the already water. So, um, they're usually years ahead of their time. Um, and a lot of Aquarius have a lot of really, either really young friends or really old friends. Oh yeah, my friend Gary. Gary actually started Aries TV with me, and he was an Aquarius, and was super young, like 19, and we actually took our journey on to, like, opening our third eye together, and we used to go to, like, these um, chanting houses, and, like, Hindu temples together, and just learn, 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 like, we just pass books, pass information, and that was just, like, the gist of our relationship, which was really good and really enlightening enlightening process for me because you know um it's good to find people that you guys can like learn together and it's not anything more anything less um they're charming friendly and outgoing um in love and marriage they need like individuality and they need freedom or they're start to feel claustrophobic and start to become like kind of mean um they need their alone time and they like to be friends before actually carrying the relationship on to the next level so um yeah so they're restless and they need constant stimulation and when they get bored like you can find them like making up drama and playing like the puppeteer of like whatever situations um they're usually um inventors they're usually designers, innovators, pushing boundaries, anything with tech, science, and computers, they're like masters at because they're like really deep thinkers. And they have a lot of qualities that Pisces have, which is like intuitive qualities. But like I said, since they're thinkers, because air signs are thinkers, since they're thinkers, they keep all this information in their head at times and rarely share with other people, their ideas, and what they're feeling. So if an Aquarius doesn't break through their shell and, like, express their ideas to people and, you know, their strengths to people, I guess they'll never kind of get to the highest, like, degree of their self, which is, like, basically to be exuberant and eccentric. And instead, they'll be, like, quiet and shy. And then, like me, when you get to know an Aquarius and you're hanging out with them and you're like, wait, how do you know all these things and how are you not doing whatever it is that you're meant to be doing? So that was about Aquarius. Air sign, fixed sign, ruled by Uranus, January, February to the 18th, represented by the water bearer. It is your season, almost over. Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you um, like my channel, check out my website, Arius Healing. I have blogs on there. Um, I'm getting ready to set up a shop. And currently, I have um, just like blogs and services. So you can actually reach out and um, check out my services and follow me on Twitter at MARL33 or on Instagram at Marley Nadine Insta. And I am looking forward to speaking with you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. And that was a little bit about Aquarius. Talk to you guys later. Bye.